Hey guys, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scallop on Facebook. I'm going through and trying to kind of tidy up the join around here and doing new videos for old ones and all that good stuff. So let's get maybe doing videos on things you haven't seen yet. All right. So we have this shape. Okay, if we want to shrink this shape down, what I love about using shortcut slot is when you do something, you usually have three ways to go about doing it. Okay, so when I have this shape, if I want it smaller, I can go up here to effects, I can go to shadow layer, I can use the inset shadow, and I can do it that way. Okay. But if I want it more true to what this actually looks like, what can I do? Well, I can come up here to path, and I can do path offset. So offset right here. Still looks the same, right? Ah, but I come up here and choose rounded. No, I'm gonna choose bevel. That is what I want right there. right there that's what I want now because I have this open we're gonna just kind of mess around with it a little bit here so if I choose rounded and I turn off that let's pump it up you see the corners they're rounded so just watch the corners as I mess around with it the beveled kind of chops them off so if you had like a straight like a chisel that's what that does Okay, the rounded puts a nice round to the corners. Just like that. And it's pretty much for these outside corners. You don't see any changes made to these inside corners either. Okay. Until you go into these inset right here. Then that's where you notice the rounded. Not on the outside corners, but on the inside. So when you go inside shadow or inside offset, whatever you want to call it, it is the inside corners. When you're going outside, it's the outside corners. Okay? Let's do a bevel. Okay. And it also removes the original. You can also get this too by going here and you can explore all of these shadows. I normally use this when I'm um, doing my uh, fonts, when I thicken my font. And I use these two right here, the shadow rounded or the shadow straight. I'm driving my dog nuts right now because her name is Shadow. <laughs> um, but that's what I use when I'm uh, thickening my fonts is I use these two and you can hand enter these and I normally use a point two or a point three. Okay. All right. So now let's get working on this. Oh and in your shadow oh in your shadow effects um you don't really have the ability um to other than the miter right here you don't have the ability to change like what the um, the edges look like unless you come over here right here and then that gives you the ability right there and that changes um the ends of what your lines will look like okay all right so now let's go into creating just we're just going to finish this up and i want to show you how to save it into your file your my designs because lots of people want to do that but i'm going to strongly caution you against doing that with multiple things because you're just going to slow down your load of your shortcuts a lot and you don't want to do that you can be sitting there for quite a while waiting for it to load. 
Oops. So you do your back minus front. So you got this really cool shape, and I already have mine saved. And you want to save it because you may use it, you know, quite a bit. There's mine that I made the other day. How do you go about saving that? Well, you're going to come up here, file, export. Okay, there's mine right there. So let me show you how you get to it. Okay. Remember, again, I save all of my stuff in documents because when you do an online backup, it will not read your downloads folder. It usually reads your documents folder. So I have all my stuff stored in my documents. Okay. You're going to have one that says Craft Edge. Click on that. Even if yours is in your downloads, wherever it may be, click on it. I'm going to change my view type here. Okay. Well, let's take a gander here. Where is one that has my designs in it? Because I need it to say that. Because right here it is. Oh, here it is. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to leave it in SVG form. Because I know from frequent use of this program that that's what it needs to be. Okay. So then you can put COG or whatever yours happens to be. And I save it. Oh, I. Let's see. Let's do COG 1. Okay. Okay. Well, it didn't do anything, right? Let's refresh it or reload. There it is. Okay. And to delete it, I just click delete. And it takes it right on out of there for me. Okay. So that's how you go about doing the saving into your favorites and using the path offset and some of the shadows and the, the beveled edges and things like that. Because using the shapes, um, the, the basic shapes, you can pretty much create any shape um, and use that to start your design process, okay? Um, even, you know, you can turn your pointed edge shapes into round edges and soft edges and things like that, okay? Um, So anytime um, you uh, want to save things in your design folder, I will tell you this. Please try to keep it to like a bare minimum. Try not to store just reams and reams of things in there um, because it, it, it will slow it down. Same thing with your fonts. Try not to store an awful lot in there um, because it does significantly slow down the load. Um, of your system like I just now um, uh, reloaded this uh, my Wi-Fi module went out on my old computer um, which stinks uh, and I really need to see if I can fix that at a you know pretty cheap cost because that computer ran like a champ um, so this one I have like hardly anything loaded into it um, I'm going to load my favorites and then that's it. And I will just do the temporary loads. And I do have a video that shows you how to do that. Search fonts um, and it'll tell you how to do temporary loads and walk you through that. Um, but that's how I have mine set up to where it barely has anything stored in it because I don't want it to take a long time to load. Okay, guys, if you have any further questions, please come and find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. I do not get to YouTube to answer any questions. Thanks, guys.